It's a painting that's uncomfortable to look at, angry and chaotic. It's the same way Aiden Nesvisky says it arrived on his balcony. balcony. And it, it came crashing down and it was uh, it was pretty scary. And Nesvisky says his neighbors threw the painting onto his 10th floor balcony during a violent dispute from their penthouse apartment. Fights were frequent in the nearly two years they lived above him. Behind closed doors, we just started hearing uh, some shouting, yelling. Uh, we don't know who was starting what. We didn't get a lot of context. Uh, occasionally, we would hear some glasses break and some banging on the walls, floors. Uh, not sure, you know, who is doing it. Thursday, authorities in Florida charged Nesvisky's former neighbor, 26-year-old social media star Courtney Clenny, with stabbing her boyfriend, Christian Toby of Umseli, to death. I just want people to know that it had been going on for a long time and it definitely could have been stopped. Nesvisky says police were called on the couple multiple times when they lived here at Berkshire Riverview in South Austin. But when they moved to Florida earlier this year, Miami State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle says the violence continued. Getting so bad their building was prepared to evict them. The violent and toxic two year relationship of Christian Obumseli and Courtney Claney did not have to end in tragedy with Christian's murder as a victim of domestic violence. That's why Nesvisky, whose former roommate now keeps the tiger in a storage locker, says he's talking about the tumultuous two years he spent living alongside, even attending a music festival with a couple he says otherwise seemed friendly and normal. It is domestic violence. I mean, if you hear something, see something, say something, uh, you never know, you know, what's going on behind closed doors. It's a really sad situation, and uh, I think ultimately it, it could have been avoided. In a statement, Clenny's attorney called this a case of self-defense, writing, and I'm quoting here, we're confident she will be exonerated and Courtney will be seen for what she is, a victim of domestic abuse that survived her abuser. We also reached out to Abum Selly's attorney. We haven't heard back. Live in South Austin, I'm Shannon Ryan, sending it back to you in the studio.